hi guys i am coming back to you with another video today we have four different piles <laughs> as usual right but today is a pick a card on what does he feel about you how does your person feel about you i have mainly female viewers so we're gonna just say he but if you're a guy comment down below so i can make sure that i get everyone right no one left behind so as usual guys take a good look at the cards whichever one applies to your intuition the most is the one to pick and i will see you in your designated piles bye okay if you picked pile one this is your pile we have the moon seven of pentacles ace of wands four of wands king of cups nine of wands um judgment page of pentacles page of cups the devil and the knight of wands so right off the bat i'm getting you could be dealing with a cancer in specific a capricorn in specific a fire sign and a water sign okay so we have fire and water and then capricorn as your earth sign right here so fire water earth okay but right off the bat, I am seeing that you could be dealing with someone who is a musician, someone who is in the industry. Um, you could be an occultist. Um, they could be an occultist, but they see you as someone who is very mysterious with the moon coming out. Um, this could be someone that you've had um, invested in for a while or you guys have been acquainted for a while. But with the King of Cups and the Page of Cups, I am seeing that this is someone who is a leader type or you are a leader type. Um, like I said, they could be a musician. And whatever they're doing, it is their calling, actually. Okay? So how does this person feel about you? They feel that you are very um, passionate, very fiery. You could, be a, you could be a fire sign. I'm sorry, guys. Um... Ooh, it's like I'm tired. I'm running out of breath. They think that you are very um, gorgeous, very sexy. <laughs> I don't know why. The wands to me are like, you're sexy. Okay. Um, if you have had sex with this person, again, you should not be watching my videos. If you are under 18 years old, thank you. They like it <laughs> a lot. It's all they think about um, so much that it's like the devil here. I don't really take that as anything bad. I just take that as they see you kind of like they can't really um, get away from you. Like they feel as if they're bound, they're bound to you or that like they're stuck with you. Because you see in this picture, it's like two people are bound together. But that doesn't necessarily have to be like something that's toxic. It can also be be like, you know, being in the industry because the devil is the industry as well. So someone could be like a master occultist, a master magician, something of that element. But all in all, I've seen that they kind of want to give you some type of gift of love. Because with these being right here, I'm just saying they want to give you some type of gift of love. Um, if you guys have had sex and it has not been any love in this, because I'm only seeing like two cups. You know, this could be someone that you're dealing with who's very stern, who's very passionate, um, who's about their business. But you guys don't always talk about the feeling things. I'm kind of seeing like they kind of want to come to you with a new start and um, express their feelings to you a little bit more. Um, they also may see you as someone who is very mysterious, or this could be that person who is very mysterious. Okay, guys? Someone here can be an earth angel or a prophet, okay? Someone here, like I said, they could be a musician because with the wings here, I see this as an earth angel. Someone who is here to, ba I just seen 333. Three, three. <laughs> someone who is here to basically, um, help to guide and direct the masses right with whatever they are called to do in whatever field they are called to do guys okay um, I'm also seeing that you guys um, may work together or they might want to work together I'm also seeing that um, this person could want to marry you or this person could be married to the industry I don't know why I'm getting that but like 
I'm getting industry really big here. Like they could be a producer, they could be an engineer, something like that. But I'm getting music really heavy and I usually don't get one specific creative endeavor. So, but that's what I'm getting, right? So you are the other person you could also be a singer you could play instruments um they love the way that you play instruments they love the way that you sing or they love your artistic creative side they think that it is beautiful you see this person they are playing the instrument and it's like a whole bunch of flowers just falling out so it's like whatever you make is beautiful they find you to be very very sexually attractive right um with the nine of wands being here, this could be someone that you blocked, but I'm not really getting that. I'm just feeling like um, right now the feelings may be blocked or they may not be telling you their feelings and that could be um, what the moon is because with the devil being under the moon, I'm just getting big industry. Like if this is not a musician, you guys, like I give you permission to slap me. <laughs> I'm kidding but I don't know comment down below and tell me if you're dealing with a musician or a singer or an artist okay so I'm feeling that they, they they feel like they that you're someone they can spend the rest of their life with someone they can marry someone that they feel bound to like I said like you're someone who they feel as if they can um really be with for a while you're someone that they feel as if they can trust as well i'm seeing that with um it's like a lot of sacral solar energy in this and along with the um green in this it's like um basically they trust you with their feelings they trust you with their heart even even though if you guys even though you guys may not talk about this a lot i'm seeing that they actually do right and um i'm also seeing that they just think you're really beautiful guys um they they could think that you're the leader they could think that you're a very um good leader a very good um artist a very good person and they could really think that you're really good in bed this person um you guys could work together it could even be like um someone who's your manager and you guys maybe are friends with benefits, but they think they love it. Like, they're not going to let you go. They're damn near, like, <laughs> they're, like, stuck to you. Damn near, right? But um, I'm seeing if they want to give you some type of gift. This could be for Valentine's Day, you guys. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, that's pretty much what I am seeing. Let's see what else I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay, so... With the moon being here, you could be someone who is very intuitive. Like I said, if someone is an occultist in this, we don't have the magician card, but you can be someone who's very intuitive. And like I said, you can own animals. You could be some type of um, veterinarian. Of course, this is a collective reading, so it's for more than one group, but I'm seeing that um, they see you as someone and they feel as if you're very in tune with yourself. You're very intuitive. You may um, know things that other people do not know, and I'm seeing that they see that you're someone who is very um, loyal with the two dogs being there, okay? But I'm definitely seeing they wanna, they wanna offer you their cup of love. They wanna um, show you that it's not all just, you know, wand, sex, things like that. So um, they may come in and offer you this cup of love. Like I said, you guys could be getting married or you guys could be married. Um, but I'm seeing that basically they just feel as if every time they're with you, it's some type of celebration. It's some type of fun event. Um, they really like being around you. And if you're not around this person, then um, they want to be around you. They want to they want to come back in with the Knight of Wands and, you know, compliment you up, gas you up. And they probably do this a lot. OK, guys. So and this could also feel, be someone that you feel as if you're stuck to. You could have a child with this person. This could be someone that you have a child and that's indeed why they feel like they're always gonna be bound to you. Um, and with the group where I said that you could have blocked this person, yes, um, you could have blocked this person because moderation is like getting rid of things that no longer serve you, right? But for others of you, I'm seeing that this person sees you as someone, you probably eat very well, um, someone who really takes care of yourself and someone who kind of brings out the inner child in them, someone who helps, someone who helps 
um, them to express um, their inner child like abilities or their inner child or like you're someone who they can just be their self with someone who they trust someone who they can um kind of share their most intimate secrets with okay guys so thank you okay so power one this is your pile i really hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this um message resonated and if it did not this is not your reading okay um, either pick another pile or pick another reader and I will see you guys in my next video Okay, if you picked pile number two, this is your pile. We have the ace of cups the magician the six of pentacles three of swords five of pentacles nine of pentacles death two of pentacles five of swords the queen of pentacles and We have the hangman. Okay, oracle cards will be read at the end Okay, so right off the bat, I'm seeing that you can be dealing with some type of earth sign, um, an air sign, and a Pisces in specific, an Aries, okay, and an air sign. So we dang near have all the signs here, but we have earth, Pisces, Aries in specific, Scorpio in specific, so water, earth, and fire, okay. So what I am getting is how does your person feel about you? This could be someone who actually broke your heart, someone who stabbed you in the back, someone um, that you walked away from because I am seeing you guys' timeline. Um, you can be dealing with someone who is a master magician, someone who is um, an occultist. I see that some of, one of you is, and it looks like you, has psychic abilities. Um, your person feels <clears throat> um, heartbroken. They they feel heartbroken because you walked away and you decided to basically manage your own um, stability. You know, have this rebirth with yourself rather than with them. I'm also seeing that this is someone that um, you gave to and you actually helped a lot. You may um, have helped them manage some type of creative endeavor that they had, or you may have helped them manage basically their finances or maybe um, getting back on their feet, anything of that nature. Because with the five of pentacles being here, it's almost as if... Um, when you came in the picture, you have two pinnacles. You gave them one of your pinnacles, which um, makes six, right? But when they broke your heart or they stabbed you in the back, you took your pinnacle away, and now they have five pinnacles. Okay, I know that's like, it could be confusing, but if you get it, you get it. Okay, so you were someone who really helped this person. You could have even helped this person rebirth or um, become more... Um, abundant within themselves because we have the ace of cups like i said someone in this ratio is a psychic they see you as someone who is very um perceptive um they may have stabbed you in the back or you may have stabbed them in the back and i'm seeing that someone is very jealous someone is very protective someone is very rowdy i'm seeing with the five of swords being there that's usually jealousy envy so this person could um have maybe you or maybe you're someone who helps people and maybe that's um your job as the queen of pentacles um you're very good at finances so you could actually be a manager of some sort you both can be because the magician is the, an entrepreneur and the queen of pentacles um with the two of pentacles is some type of manager okay some type of manager of money right i'm seeing someone in this ratio is very enlightened as well and someone in this ratio um right i'm thinking it's you um, very intuitive, psychic, enlightened, right? They see you as someone who is very magical. And your job could actually be um, to be a magician or um, to be a psychic, okay? So this could all be your energy, right? So what I'm seeing is how they feel about you right now. They're feeling as if you, ever since you walked away, you've had some type of rebirth. And um, now it's like they're jealous that um, you're no longer helping them manage themselves, but rather helping yourself to manage your own abundance, right? Um, you could have put an end to this because you found out about some type of um, betrayal that had happened. Maybe, hmm. Maybe you helped them and they walked away. 
right? And, and so you decided to focus on yourself, right? You went into hangman mode and decided, okay, well, if this is how you're going to be, if this is really what's up, then I'm going to take all my stuff back because I was doing just fine before you. And just work on myself and now they're envious as hell of that because they didn't think they thought that they would phase you guys but it doesn't look like your phase it's like it's like oh again okay cool i'm gonna focus back on you know my pinnacles and it looks like that's what you're doing and you're someone who's very abundant so they see you as someone who is very abundant someone who is very giving someone who is not afraid to walk away if um they feel like they're being betrayed if they feel like um someone is has the ability to break their hearts okay you guys but i'm also seeing that um they see you as someone who's had a rebirth because you went from the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles so um you could have been homeless before they could have been homeless but i'm seeing that that is no longer that will never happen again okay and if it does happen again you'll know how to get back on your feet like you did this time you guys okay so a lot of people actually i just seen 544 Okay, so a lot of people, you know, they may not understand how you do the things that you do, or this person may not understand how you do the, the things that you do, or how um, you, you perceive the way you perceive, and that's the reason why they feel jealous or they're envious of whatever you have going on. This could also be someone that you actually work with, so you guys could actually do the exact same job, and you may do it better. And that's really sad. So if it is a guy that is hating on you, that is so sad. Okay. P-U-S-S-Y is what I call him. <laughs> All right. I also see that um, this could be a manager of some sort. You could be their manager. They could be your manager. I just seen 633. So I'm getting a lot of threes. Also, um maybe you could have found out that um they're betraying betraying you with someone else so maybe you found out that there was some type of third party that um was helping in this betrayal or whatever you know but um all in all i'm seeing that they with the death card as well they could be a scorpio but i'm also seeing that they want a rebirth with you because um they see how abundant you are and they see that you don't need them right um this person you could have helped them Come out of this five of pentacles because five of pentacles is kind of being lost spiritually mentally and like in the world so like five of pentacles is kind of like spiritually dead you know so you could have helped this person or this could been this could have been your energy and you transformed it completely so they see you as someone who can reinvent yourself over and over and over again okay you guys let's see what else i'm saying I don't know why you could live by the beach <laughs> i'm just getting that um you could work with some type of shell seashells i'm getting that as well or this person does and you guys you could also work with some type of plants i'm getting that really heavy in your energy so um if you are some type of psychic some type of witch white witch whatever you believe in you could be very good at herbs very good at making things right and I'm seeing this, but I'm also seeing that you're someone who is very perceptive as well. Not only are you psychic, not only are you intuitive, not only do you have psychic abilities, but you use them in a very keen and perceptive way, you guys. Okay? So this is what I'm seeing for you. Um, if this indeed did resonate, please like, comment, and subscribe. If this is not your message, you guys, I keep doing this. The Oracle Cards. Okay, so with the Oracle cards, guys, protection. This is someone who is probably very overprotective of you, very protective, very jealous, very, they don't want you to talk to other people. They don't understand why <laughs> you're talking to other people. But I also see this as them seeing you as someone who is very protective or someone who is very highly protective. Ask for help. Like I said, this is someone that you could have indeed helped in the past. Um... So they could have asked you for help and betrayed you. And so you walked away. And journey. This could be someone that you've had a long journey with. Or this could be someone 
that sees you as on your own specific journey or sees you as having a distinct journey okay you guys like i said you could work with some type of animals <laughs> they may see you as someone who's very lucky because the rabbit is luck okay guys also with the heart chakra you're someone who does radiate through your heart chakra as well so whatever you do you do do it for the kindness of your heart and nothing more or nothing less okay guys if you did like this video like comment and subscribe if none of these resonated for you this may not be your video okay guys i will be back with another video so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video okay if you picked pile number three this is your pile we have the page of wands the eight of cups the ten of swords eight of swords the ace of swords the six of cups the high priest the knight of pentacles the queen of cups and the knight of cups okay right off the bat i'm thinking you can be dealing with a water sign an air sign or a earth sign okay the taurus in specific we have pisces cancer scorpio and we have yeah okay and of course the the earth signs so Taurus, Cappy, and I'm missing one, guys. What's another Earth sign? Whatever, you guys know, okay? Anyways, so, and oh yeah, air. So it's all the signs here, but what I'm mostly getting is air, water, and Earth, okay? So... This is someone who you probably walked away from, you ended things with, um, could have even blocked them. You're on a whole different, another cycle. Um, you've gained clarity about this person or you've gained clarity about the past with this person. But this is probably someone who is very, very fine, someone who is very handsome, someone who is very gorgeous. Okay, because the Page of Wands is just beauty, right? Um this could be someone who really wasn't giving their cup of love to you so you decided to move away from this person or you decided to give it to someone else or you decided to basically give your love to basically yourself and work on yourself working on reinventing yourself reinventing your surroundings reinventing your 3d this could have been someone who was very very intellectual or very more so on the left side of their brain um facts over fiction or basically um logic over creativity basically so this could be someone who um put a lot of burdens on you put a lot of stress on you made you feel as if you were trapped made you feel as if maybe you weren't even good enough or maybe um because what i'm seeing is it's almost as if if this is an earth sign, it's like you're trying to offer their your, your cup of love to them, but it's like their back is turned. And even this person too. So it's like they could have thought that maybe they were too fine to um, you know, settle down with you. Because the high priest as well is like a marriage card to me. So like you could have wanted marriage, you could have wanted kids with the six of cups. Um you could have wanted all of that and maybe all they wanted was like passion right or maybe they thought that they were too cute for you too good for you or too good to give you love or maybe they felt as if they should chase you but i'm seeing that you're not going for none of that shit <laughs> because it's like you, you're like oh i see what you want now so let me turn around and even if they are the earth sign do you guys see like they're all looking away from you i don't know why but I'm seeing this as your energy. I just see 333 three, three again. Okay. So you are a water sign, probably a Pisces. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that, but you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. You could have children with this person or you could have wanted children with this person. But overall, um, I'm seeing that they see you as someone who is not with the bullshit at all. Someone who is very just. You could be someone who is very spiritual, someone who is very um, religious right this could be um they could also see you don't shoot the messenger 
please as someone who is childish or someone who is young so this this could probably be why they're not really looking to give you their cup of love or they weren't looking to give you their cup of love so you moved away right um if not this could just be someone who thinks that um you have a very childlike persona so you know some people live through their child their inner child which i do myself as well because when you do live through your inner child that means you're living your authentic self you know you're really um expressing those things and the wonders that you had as a child i just seen 444 so this could be you right and if you are a very spiritual person you understand the depth of living through your um inner child right so i'm also seeing that um, there could have been a lot of arguments in this. There could have been, I don't know why I'm seeing the, the swords as like argument, but a lot of up in your head thinking about like maybe why does this why is this person not looking at me or why is this person not offering me the things that I really truly want, right? Um, so I'm seeing that with the world of fortune, what the will of fortune being here, this cycle is actually over or it's complete all right or there will be a new cycle so since you walked away from them they may notice that um maybe their shit because they weren't even looking at you and you were trying to offer them your cup of love so they're gonna move back in because as you see you guys if this is him moving away he's moving back in towards her you see because he's like oh no 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 but again guys i just seen five 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 so there's gonna be some type of tower moment there may, there may have already been a tower moment but when this person comes back in um there may be a tower moment or you may have caused them a tower moment because you ended things with them um you could have even hurt their ego right they may want to come back in with a new start with the um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords being here, I'm seeing they may want to come in with a new start, guys, okay? But I'm also seeing they may want to come back in to offer you clarity about something that's happened in the past or about why they were um, acting the way they were acting. But I'm also getting that um, you're someone who is very keen and you're, you know yourself um, enough to understand who is for you and who is not for you. Just seeing 644. Um, so you understand the um, efficiency of putting yourself before others, right? And I'm seeing that this person will come back because um, to anyone that is very attractive, you know, if you have the decency to always put yourself first, no matter how much you like the person or no matter how much um, a person did hurt you, right? that is very attractive and they find you to be very very beautiful you guys so even if um they weren't you know trying to offer you their cup of love they do find you as someone who is very attractive very beautiful you guys um but um if this person is not giving you what you want of course you guys you need to walk away so i don't know why in this pick a card alert energy is from like kind of like people who just didn't really notice how good you guys were but that's okay because god has someone for you that is 10 times better okay so continue to and as you see it's like he has i want to show y'all something so and also remember guys he is the knight and you are the queen a knight works for the queen Okay, guys, this is not a king yet. So he may be immature. This person may just only be thinking like, oh, well, I'm cute. So you should want me. And you see, it's like you're protecting your heart. This person is not, he's riding, <laughs> he's riding on the dang horse, spilling his cup of love everywhere. And it's like yours is sacred, right? You don't just give it to anyone, but he just clearly it's barely even there because he's wasting every damn wear on the horse and everything else okay but someone else if it's not him someone else is gonna come come in and be your um your knight and um really protect you you guys and communicate with their heart like you need okay so let me not forget oracle cards light 
okay so they may feel as if you are someone who really brings light to situations you are someone who is you could be a light worker um earth angel but you're someone um who is very um light you are of light so continue to bring light to your situation continue to look at the light of this situation in signs so yeah you notice the signs of this person and you understood that they may have not been for you because if you truly are of the light then you can't just dibble and dabble with anyone it really needs to be someone who is very good for your soul okay you guys so if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe if this message did not resonate with you this may not be your reading okay find another reader and i'm so sorry but my next message probably will um, resonate with you guys love you and see you in my next video okay if you picked pile number four the last pile this is your pile we have the empress two of cups six of swords the emperor the tower six of wands eight of wands justice page of swords um king of pentacles seven of swords and nine of cups okay right off the bat i am getting this is your soulmate um this is someone that you thought was your soulmate or this is someone who sees you as their soulmate we have right off the bat we have the emperor and the empress these are the same pair right so you guys are very both established probably um both in the public eye you guys may be in the justice system someone may work in the weather but i'm getting one of you is an earth sign and one of you is a fire sign for sure okay <clears throat> for sure okay one of you could be a libra like i said a fire sign we have air and we have water so fire earth water okay but i'm really getting a earth sign and a fire sign in specific okay guys so this could be someone that you were actually married to this could be someone who like i said you guys are married this could be someone you were married to this could be um a soulmate of yours but i'm seeing that you are their wish fulfillment and they are your wish fulfillment um together you guys were very happy and you felt very happy with this person okay um, I'm seeing that if you guys are not already in the public eye, you're going very fast towards it. So this could be someone who has deceived you and so you decided to let them go. So Seven of Swords is deception, yes, some type of deception in the relationship. Um, let's see what I'm seeing, guys. So... It could have been a third party. I'm not seeing that though. I'm just seeing some type of deception in the relationship. So if there was some type of deception in the relationship and he had two women, one woman was probably um, his spouse and then the other woman was someone he had sex with, the queen of wands, someone very sexy, very fiery, very passionate, or this is you. So if that does not resonate with you, then there was just some type of deception, betrayal, in the relationship and you found out about it <clears throat> okay you found out about it but the way i laid these cards down i don't know why i'm getting that you are this queen of wands you are the fire sign but you're very well established okay um okay so if the cheating scandal is your situation um your partner could have found out that you were cheating right but I'm not seeing the cheating scandal thing, guys. Okay. But I am also getting that this is someone who you released, but it was released. Um, it was helped to release by your spirit guides, your angels. With the Six of Swords being here, this is um, divine guidance. This is like, um, what is it like? divine intervention so some type of message some type of clarity came to you um about this deception about what was going on in this and you decided to um release this and um you know kind of just worry about yourself i'm getting you will receive justice 
okay you could even be dealing with some type of legal court case legal matter i don't know you guys could even be getting a divorce and maybe you found out that this person was deceiving you and so now you want to get a divorce and that is causing this person a tower moment okay also what i'm getting is um if you did walk away from this relationship and it did cause you a tower moment you will get justice for this and like i said um you will be highly celebrated in the public eye if you are not already so that probably is your justice as i'm seeing because if we split them in four boom a tower moment happens and then um you gain success from this tower moment then justice you get justice from the tower moment and you're going to get it fast okay if you look at these four um, i'm seeing that some type of earth sign was released because um someone found out about it or someone got clarity about it okay or someone you got clarity about this person but like as you look this person has like their swords up to the justice so whatever this justice is it's coming but it's like this person maybe they don't want you to get justice or maybe they don't feel like this is fair okay so I'm also getting that, of course, there was some type of betrayal in this and um, it really hurt you because you seen them as some type of wish fulfillment or they seen you as some type of wish fulfillment, okay? But um, if you guys feel as if this person betrayed you, as if this, um, this whole situation um, hasn't got the justice that you need yet it is actually coming and you will be recognized okay guys i'm also seeing that if you guys are not married and right now you guys are just the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles with a um you know a soulmate connection i'm seeing right now divine intervention is coming in to help you strategize or to help your person strategize because seven of swords is not always um they see it's also strategy so before someone deceives you they usually strategize but the seven of swords could be strategy so your angels could be helping you strategize a more successful approach to the relationship so um this tower moment could be um could have been divinely guided supposed to happen so that you guys could move into this partnership where you guys are very successful and um you guys are very balanced within yourself but overall i'm seeing that this person finds you as someone who is very balanced um someone who's very successful someone who is very fiery someone who's very smart passionate and like i said you are someone who is very abundant of course you're the empress we have the empress two times and you could also be dealing with the libra you could be a libra because of the nine of cups and the empress okay um you could also be dealing with an aries so we have libra we have aries here as well you guys and we have the towers aquarius but um i'm definitely seeing that if you are walking away from this situation you will get justice will be served to you in um the way that i'm thinking that you want it to be you guys because with the six of swords being here that's public recognition that's success and it's coming fast you guys i know i keep saying that but i just want you guys to understand that okay also um let's see what else i'm saying also when this does happen to you when your person you know sees that you're getting your justice this will create a tower moment for them and they may be jealous or they may talk about whatever you're doing or whatever you're going through i mean or without whatever justice you're getting whatever public recognition you're getting but don't worry about this but yeah don't worry about this person if they deceived you you will receive the justice that you deserve and the justice that you want